I'm gonna get hammered. I'm gonna get hammered right here. One, two, three, four, five. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. Awesome. All right, guys. Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I don't know if you heard me doing a little countdown, but my GoPro, my GoPro right here, just died. My phone's ringing. I'll get back to you later. And I was doing a countdown saying I'm going to get hit as soon as that GoPro dies, and it did. That's my first fish on this awesome little farm pond I got permission to fish on. So it's a windy kind of spinnerbait day. And guys, you can't see it. I'll have to lean down and look at my bare legs. It's 78 degrees in February, late February. We've had an incredible run of weather. It's been insane. I can't even get over how, how warm it's been this winter. It's actually on track for possibly being the warmest winter on record since the late 1800s so this has been absolutely incredible i'm gonna get this gopro back on so you can see my smiling face but that's the first bass of the night i got one hour to fish on a windy windy warm night here we go all right here i am okay so i got the gopro back on like i said i was counting down the second i heard the beep 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 of the gopro go out i started counting I was like i'm gonna get hit one two three bang and i got hit of course that's when the camera dies but there it is guys war eagle just a war eagle three eighths ounce uh chartreuse white with a gold i think that's a gold number four willow blade and a silver so it's a dimming the light's going down it's getting late and uh gosh if we can get a couple more bass on a beautiful day like today we'd be in good shape in an hour Oh, right at, right at the shoreline. I actually saw it eat it, didn't even feel it eat it. I just lifted up and he was there. There's a little dink. All right, so there's bass number two in the same spot. I mean, just fan casting left and right. I'm tempted to actually downsize and go to a smaller spinnerbait, but I'm gonna hang out, hang out with that 3 8 ounce for a couple more minutes, beat up the bank, and then maybe downsize and see if I can catch a couple more bass. Oh boy, I leaned into one here. Let's see what I got. It feels a little bit bigger. Or is it just get down in the muck? Yeah, he just got down in some muck. Still still catching bass in the middle of the winter time, guys. This is still absolutely awesome. There's bass number three, right in the nose. Gotta love a war eagle. War eagles are absolutely awesome. So yeah, this is just a medium action seven foot extra fast, I believe. Just my St. Croix Avid Rod. And I got a, just a speed spool, just a this is Speed Spool Tournament Pro Loose, one of my classic setups for my spinner baits. I use this for rattle traps and swim baits, all kinds of stuff. Just an awesome setup. 15 pound test fluorocarbon, and we're good to go. In colder temps like this, you know, we got a major warm up over the past couple days. So, you know, the water temperatures could be 50, 52, 53 degrees, but if it went from 48 to 53, the bass will turn on. It's sometimes just about the water temperature change. Don't be scared of those low temperatures, especially, uh, especially after three days of warm up, because those bass get really active when they start feeling a little warming trend. So, get those moving baits out, chatter baits, spinner baits, rattle traps, things like that. Those fish get active. They're going to chase, they're going to chase a little bit. And I'm catching all these fish right up shallow. I mean, these fish are jumping on this bait right on the bank. I'm parallel on the shoreline here is exactly where they're hitting. And I'm not, I'm not, I haven't gotten a single bite out of those three fish. They were literally right on the shoreline. And that second fish I got literally grabbed it just before I pulled it out of the water. So that tells you how shallow these fish are. <laughs> oh, folks. Okay, guys. Well, there's fish number four, and it looks like I caught the three hungriest bass out of this pond on those spinner baits. And then I found this one itty bitty little dink, boy, he is tiny, on the tried and true, trusty, no brainer, split shot rig, guys. Uh, this horizontal presentation is awesome. This pond has a lot of muck on the bottom. It's great for a drop shot and or a split shot. And a split shot is nothing more than what is an itty bitty eighth ounce bullet weight it's pinched onto my 10 pound test braid at my Albright knot to my six pound test fluorocarbons, an itty bitty little one aught uh, little worm hook and a ringworm. That's actually a green pumpkin zoom ringworm scented up. And boy, let me tell you, if, if it's tough and you've caught every bass you can catch on power baiting, you know, from spinner baits to rattle traps and everything out of your local pond or lake, wherever you're fishing, that split shot rig in cold water all the way through the spring, all the time, anytime. If you just want to get through the weeds and get through the muck and you're not Texas rigging and you want to get that bait to float up above the muck and above the weeds, 
the split shot and or mojo rig some people call it this is a this is a little split shot bullet shaped style so it really just kind of comes right through the weeds and there's a little dink let's see if we can get one more before the night's over got a little bit more light left so here we go Another reason I broke out this uh, split shot rig is the winds died down. I could finally actually control this itty bitty little weight in this real light line. So if there's any more bass in here that are willing to bite anything, they're bound to bite this, that's for sure. Unbelievable. I'm actually slapping at mosquitoes, guys. I'm seeing turtles swimming. I've got mosquitoes biting me in February in Maryland. Guys, warming trends, I'm telling you, you get a couple warm days, get out and try and find a way to do some fishing. I'm telling you, all kinds of crazy things. The world, the, the nature just comes to life out here. It's just unreal the kind of things that can happen. So yeah, spinner bait in February on the banks and the one little dink on a, uh, on a little split shot rig. So folks, I'm gonna call it, it's getting pretty dark. I'm gonna take four bass and run in about an hour. So that's been absolutely awesome. Guys, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.